Joseph Jojo Diaz defeats Javier Fortuna via unanimous decision in his first fight at lightweight to capture the WBC interim title. Many of you are probably wondering, Sadiq, you're obviously mistaken. There's no way Joseph Diaz won the WBC interim title. That title belongs to King Rai, quote-unquote, Ryan Garcia. Well, Ryan Garcia says he has mental health problems, and he needs to take a break from boxing, I guess. Uh, I've never heard of a boxer in my life, in my life, quote, or cite as mental health problems will, will put me on the sideline. But I guess in this day and age, you can expect anything. So let's get right to the point. Joseph Diaz looked really good in his debut fight. At 135, he fought a top 10 contender. He fought a top 10 guy at the weight in Haber Fortana. He won the fight. In my eyes, I had him winning seven rounds to five. 114, 113. But let's address the scorecards first. That fight was not 117, 110 type fight. Joseph Diaz did not win 10 rounds. I had Joseph Diaz winning seven rounds. And there were a lot, a lot of close rounds that he won. So if, even if he said Haber Fortana edged it by a point, I wouldn't have been mad. But 117, 110, I don't know, bro. I just didn't see it that way. Now, it was a good fight. I thought it was back and forth. I thought Diaz started good. Then he guessed a bit. And then he got a, he caught a second wind mid to late in the fight. And then I thought he let the last two rounds go. So he clearly won the fight. He fought good. He looked like a mini Canelo Alvarez. I didn't think he would carry any power up to 135. But he Fortuna a bit. He hurt him a couple times. I believe he hurt him around 9 and around 10. And he hurt him badly. Fortuna is a very durable guy. I know he's been stopped before, but he's a very durable guy. And uh, Joseph Diaz beating him that way was very impressive. Joseph Diaz was clearly the better fighter, but there was one thing about Joseph Diaz. His stamina is all over the place, man. Uh, I think he needs to improve his stamina. Because if he was fighting a Ryan Garcia or... A Devin Haney or Teofimo Lopez or a Lomachenko or a Gravana Davis. They're going to get you late. Because he has the skill level to be with those guys. But he just doesn't have the athleticism or the stamina to be with those guys. He guessed mid to late and uh, I didn't like that. He needs to do more road work. And I think he could challenge Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. If he has better stamina... Guess what? I might even pick him against Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. But as of right now, I would pick both Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia to beat him. I'd pick Devin Haney to him on points, and I'd pick Ryan Garcia to stop him late. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is Jojo or Joseph Diaz the guy to beat Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, Sadiq Boxing out.